Hey cousins, how to how you do? Today I'm going over here to a place called Ben Five. It says cheaper by the days. It's some sort of like Amazon restock or return store. They literally put them in bins and you just sift through it, get elbows deep and see what you can find. This is not the type of thrifting I typically do. I've never been to one of these Amazon stores, uh, kind of resale or return stores. I'm gonna check it out today, see what I might be able to find. You can come with me. Uh, let's check it out together. It's time for Rusty How To. All right, here we go. First time in, let's see what we might find. Hello, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Guess we'll start on one end. Start all the way down here. Here, here, with me. Oh, spice pudding. <laughs> GoPro batteries. Could probably use one of those. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mm. All kinds of iPhone cases, I just don't know what size. There you are, what size are you? Cable adapter. They didn't need their first aid kit anymore. Okay. Baking soda. My goodness. Dashboard car mounts. What in the world? Is this a wig? Of some kind? Hair cap fancy dress wig. That's kind of weird. Compression socks. I've been getting some compression socks. Don't know, you know. If that's going to be good or not, I'm going to try it. Face mask. Research. Mm -hmm. Martha Stewart short and little braided rope. Five hearts. Jump rope, skipping rope.
Interesting. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.
Just got out of that store, guys, and uh, I got a bag full of junk. I think I spent right around uh, $64. Uh, I had 30 items, so, and it was apparently just $2 per item. It didn't matter what it was, kind of cool. Uh, so I just, you know, I didn't go crazy. There was so much stuff I could have got. So um, I just want to test the waters a little bit, get a couple things, and then we'll see. Uh, let's go back to the house now, now, back to the warehouse that is. And uh, it's kind of like my house, my second home, you know, uh, and take a look at it. All right, guys, here we are. I'm back at the house and uh, here's about 30 some items I picked up at this place. You saw me pick up some of them in the video. I didn't want to waste your time with everything, but this is kind of a March way. It's like this uh, dry bag with a backpack type thing. Kind of cool. Got these uh, backpack straps on it here. A couple of different sets of gloves here that you can uh, use with your, your phones, touch gloves. Um, these are a couple of, uh, you know, kind of web feet here, kicker flipper things for, uh, you know, it's about to be nice weather. People are going to be getting out the ocean and pools and stuff. That could go well. One of them's a, um, a Speedo brand. <clears throat> Becca's Bunch, I, now I want to say real fast, I didn't look any of this stuff up. Uh, and first I tried to like look up these barcodes, but these are just Amazon shipping barcodes. And so I couldn't just compare prices based on that. And I didn't want to spend the whole time uh, looking things up. So I looked up a couple things here and there. I just kind of went off intuition with some of the stuff. It was $2 per. So two, didn't matter what it was, $2 is what I spent on everything here. This is like a leather bound uh, journal uh, type thing. <clears throat> This is a little a Playmobil uh, hockey player. It looks like a red, red, red wings, red fins. Uh, NHL uh, one here, which is kind of cool. A wireless charger, docking station. Some bunch of socks here. Uh, there's a bunch of compression socks um, on here. Like us on Facebook. A bag of skulls, plastic. Those are fun. Halloween related items. There's another Halloween one here. I'll pull that up here. Uh, this is just a bunch of Halloween like decor stuff, balloons and different stuff. Uh, be nice. Uh, this right here is a, uh, a gel uh, seat for a bicycle. Um, a little uh, cell phone case. Man, there were tons of cell phone cases, tons of socks and various stuff. This is a little musical mat. You put batteries in it, plays music while kids play on it. This is going to be for me. I found a, a docking station, uh, not a docking station, a, um, uh, it's missing the top here and it's missing the cord, but I've got one just like this and I didn't get it for this, but it's got a, a little battery in here. This is a GoPro battery. And so uh, I'm just going to add that to my arsenal. I can use that with my GoPro when I'm going out and doing these uh, videos. So I'm going to keep that for myself. Those batteries are $10 or more uh, uh, per battery a lot of times. Um, so that was nice. Um, a knee brace here, some uh, just some cords, some uh, connector cables. I don't even know. These are shirts, I guess. I've not opened them up. I'll open them up and take a look. But two bucks, I think it's going to be fine. Here's a car mount for um, you know your cell phone. This one right here is a it's like a little leash thing for your for your pet. You can see it's on a little kitty cat there. This is a, some sort of a converter uh, pack a cord converter there. Uh, nine ports. Um, this is a little, uh, webcam, some, uh, hair dye, orange <laughs> is the color. And then this is a, uh, a retro receiver, which is nice because, uh, I'm in either one of these to hook up my, uh, my retro, uh, my original NES. So this is what you need if you want to uh, connect it to your, your, uh, you know, newer TVs and things now. It's quite nice. And then this right here, Silent Spring. This is a, uh, a book. And this book here, I'm going to pull it open. See, it's probably a book club. I don't know here. Yep, there, there it is. Book of the Month Club selection. But uh, that's nice. This is a, probably 60s or 70s. I don't know when this when this book came out. When did this book come out? 1962. So um, that's nice. I expect I'll probably make close to half my money back. Uh, 20, 30 bucks on just this book. Uh, pretty decent condition there uh, for being from the 60s and also being in a bin like that. 
So not too horrible. I'm going to put all these up and put them in one bin. I'm going to track and see, you know, out of 64 bucks spent, uh, if I can make half my money back off that book, then I stand to do decently on this little lot. Uh, there were thousands of items there, guys. I could have bought so much stuff, but this is really just a trial run. I wanted to see. I'll also do some research in the meantime to find out what is the best type of stuff to buy um, at, a, at a bin place like this. So uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Wish me luck. Rusty, rusty, rusty hair.